The Minnesota Renaissance Festival is paying tribute to two teenage workers who died in a car crash over the weekend. The cannon salute last night was in memory of Taylor Wyland and Cheyenne Mickelson. The best friends, both 17 years old, were killed Saturday morning when the car they were in crashed into a tree in Shakopee. It happened on a road leading into the festival just before they were to report to work. Police in southeast Minnesota are looking for three thieves who stole dozens of firearms from a gun store. Look at the surveillance video from this burglary last Friday morning. Millville, Rod and Gun in Wabashaw County. Owner Keystone says thieves were only in the store for about a minute. They got away with 60 to 80 firearms plus ammunition. He estimates the missing guns are worth $40,000. Wabashaw County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone with information to call them. Thousands of nurses continue walking the picket line today on strike from Alina Health, but not everyone is on board. The Minnesota Nurses Association has been at odds with Alina since February as the two sides began negotiating a new contract. The major sticking points are a proposed change to health insurance plans, staffing levels, and workplace safety issues. That led to a one week strike in June, but this one is open ended. A small group of nurses has decided not, decided not to strike. It's just not financially feasible for me to be out of work for an unlimited amount of time. I'm not going to risk eviction um, over a cause that I just don't believe in. I just feel like, in a way, it's abandoning our patients. Michelle, a mother of three and labor and delivery nurse, is one of 375 not striking. While she says Alina plans are fair, the other nurses argue deductibles and high are high and security for nurses is insufficient. Right now, there are no new plans for Alina and the union to go back to the negotiation table.